Hi, so I'm going to compare the Windows 10 start menu here with the Windows 7 start menu and give you sort of an analogy of some of the functionalities. So if you remember the Windows 7, there's these shortcuts here, these shortcut keys. Now that's analogous to these tiles in Windows 10. The biggest difference here is really the tiles are so-called live tiles, meaning they change. So if you have a notice for email or if uh, the news changes here, it changes dynamically. Whereas in the Windows 7, these icons are simply just icons. But you could think of these as icons because, for example, if I wanted to put a calculator here as a shortcut, I can drag it over. So what I'm doing is I'm simply dragging these things over and I could resize it. And you could put anything basically on this start this kind of like a shortcut you know just like these were shortcuts so for example I have sticky notes here which brings up a shortcut for sticky notes I can also put the sticky notes here also and there you go that's how um, you could get like the, sh the shortcut for this however um, a little bit of a difference is if if you notice all of your programs are basically on the left side whereas now all your shortcuts are on the right side whereas in Windows 7 all of these shortcuts were on the left side while your programs here like a lot of the shortcuts to what what is the context of the user that's logged in is here and the programs are kind of mixed on the left side whereas here in Windows 10 it's actually more consistent because everything that belongs to the user the user's documents, picture, settings um, and then the shortcuts are and the programs themselves are also all on the left side whereas in Windows 7 they're kind of split between the left side and right side so these things belonging to the user on the right side whereas the programs are on the left side whereas these things really are just programs that open up so um, so in Windows 10 it's a little bit more consistent um, so that's really it you, you could resize everything so for example if I wanted my start menu bigger I could hover over the border and then drag it up and make it bigger or I could also you know move these and you know expand it if it fills up you know that sort of thing so if I wanted to add more apps for example my weather app it would expand it horizontally and if I wanted to shrink it again I would just hover over the border and shrink it down so um, you know that's really mostly it for the start menu um, and I hope this helps you in uh, comparing or relating to what you used to have with Windows 7 and uh, thank you for watching.